Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hair Software, and today we're going to be talking about how to use hashtags on LinkedIn so you can make sure that your content is more likely to get in front of the right people. All right, let's talk about some LinkedIn hashtags and how we can use those to better distribute our content to the right people on LinkedIn and maximize our time spent on the platform. Um, so hashtags are, you know, you can really think of hashtags as like ways to group your posts into categories or way to, you know, group posts into categories from a, you know, large base of people all, you know, posting with their own different, you know, ideas and things that they want to talk about. Um, so that's been kind of the you know solution for these social media platforms to help kind of like group those posts into you know like um, types of content, and you can kind of see this um, illustrated here. I've gone through and I've followed a number of hashtags to kind of customize the content of my feed and you know see the things that I want to see. Um, now not everybody will do this, but most savvy. Um, social media users will have gone through and followed a number of hashtags and we'll talk about how to do that in a second um, but you can see you know I'm following SAS, SEO, web dev, JAX, Jacksonville, paid search um, and you know some of these other uh, hashtags that are related to uh, content that I want to keep up with um, and what you want to do when you're posting on LinkedIn and creating uh, your social media content is get your posts in front of the right people you know aka understand your ideal customer profile and know what sort of hashtags that they will be following and reading content about talking about this in the context of like an IT company or an MSP um, you know we can you know we know that like IT companies uh, or people who are shopping for IT companies want to you know reduce their expenses, improve operational efficiency, um, be more productive, help their teams collaborate better, you know, things like that. They're usually selling um, cloud software and a number of other IT infrastructure offerings, etc, etc, etc. What I see most people do if they use hashtags at all in, in the MSP space is use insider industry jargon and terms like cybersecurity, MSP, IT company, and that's what they're ha hashtagging their posts with. And a lot of times what that's doing is just helping you connect with other people within the industry, um, which is fine if that's your goal. But if you want to get your content in front of like uh, prospective customers and you know help people discover um, you know you and what you have to say and like engage with you as like your personal brand or you know whatever it is you want to be using hashtags that are meant for your content to be distributed um, to the right ICP or at least understand what type of content you're posting and distribute it to the right hashtag accordingly you know sometimes it might be insider industry terms if you want to talk about that sometimes you might want to get your content in front of prospects um, in which case you know you want to use things that your prospect is using you know in following so you know that can be like vertical hashtags such as like law law firms legal things like that that relate to like a specific you know industry vertical so if your MSP is targeting lawyers then you want to be hashtagging your content with uh, uh, law and legal industry terms because that's what your customers are going to be following and looking at um, you know, there's also going to be like supplier terms like Azure and Microsoft, you know, the IT manager at a, at a law firm, for instance, might be following Azure and Microsoft. Um, they might not be looking at some of the more industry terms, but they, there is like the sur supplier overlap. Um, so those can be good candidates. Uh, again, locality is another one. Um, so for instance, like hashtag Jacksonville or Florida or DFW for Dallas Fort Worth, you know, Think if you have like local targeting or local positioning, uh, you can use locality terms. Um, but you know, just understanding your ICP, understanding what they would be following and what they would be, um, you know, wanting to consume content about, and you know, just knowing your positioning and then researching hashtags and then using them in your content. Um, 
So let's talk about how to kind of like research these hashtags. So like, let's look at, for instance, like hashtag law. So you come up here to the search bar and just type in the hashtag in the search bar, and then it'll auto complete some options here for you. Um, and you can look at like law here, and then we can see that one's got five and a half million followers. So definitely a good solid base of people there. Um, that are following that hashtag. You might want to see if you can find something that's more specific though and target your total hashtag combined following to between, you know, like at least 100,000 people, but you know, up to a million. You know, so you want to have like a big enough audience that the algorithms can kind of do their work and, you know, identify the right people and get, get your content to them but not so broad that you're just like trying to shock on everybody because then you know you won't actually get like enough traction in a specific segment for it to kind of go viral per se. Um, so like, let's take a look at like Law Firm for instance. Okay, so this one's got about 50,000 and this one's gonna be more likely to be partners and ops managers and executives and um, you know things like this that are you know hashtagging law firm so I would say this one would be a much better candidate than hashtagging just law but you can hashtag just law if you want um, you know so that's a good one we could also I think I saw like law tech law tech um, 5,000 people you know this one could be good or it could be something again that a, you know, connect your content to other MSPs or IT um, people, so it might not be the people you're trying to reach. You know, also take a scroll through the content and see what's actually on the hashtag. That can help you, you know, identify whether it's a quality hashtag or not. Um, and um, yeah, so you know, do some research on your hashtags. Come up with a plan for the you know types of hashtags you want to use. I recommend between doing two and ten hashtags on a post um, and or a combined audience size in that you know 500k to a million um, range for your hashtags and then from there you're just going to create your content and let the algorithms do the work and connect uh, your content to the people that are trying to you know, follow that and um, that's how you get your message or one of the ways you can get your message in front of more people on LinkedIn. Um, so boom, hope you found this video uh, informative. Uh, we talked about how you can use hashtags to better distribute your content and get it in front of your ideal customer profile and uh, connect with more prospects and maximize your time spent on the platform. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching.